good morning students welcome to your previous class so students we are meeting after a long gap so now our all test it's over so we'll start a new chapter today chapter 11 natural resources so students sit with your book and open page 52 today i will do the reading of the chapter you will follow how i am reading resources are things that we can use to do something money people knowledge can all be called resources natural resource are the things nature gives us water air soil forest coal petrol are some natural resources we use them in different ways water we use water to drink cook wash clean bathe and to grow crops water covers three-fourth of the earth but most of it is is in the oceans the salty water of the oceans is of no use for us we cannot use the frozen water on the mountains and around the pools either we can only use fresh water of lakes rivers ponds from underground fresh water means water that is not salty where does all this fresh water come from it comes mostly from the rain rain water falls over Rivers, lakes, seas and land. Some of the rain falling on the land flows into rivers, ponds and lakes. The rest seeps under the ground. We dig wells and use pumps and tube wells to get water from the ground. Air Air too is a natural resource. All living beings need oxygen to breathe. We need oxygen to burn things like coal and gas. Plants need carbon dioxide to make food. These gases come from the way we also use the power of the wind to do many things like moving sailboats producing electricity and so on now soil the topmost layer of the earth is called soil under it are rocks soil forms from rocks in natural way rain water and the flowing water of the rivers break off pieces of rock and carry them away the pieces tumble around and break into smaller pieces finally they get powdered and become soil strong winds can also carry loose bits of rocks heating during the day and cooling at night also breaks the rock soil is mostly powdered rock but it also has bits of rotten things like leaves grass dead animals these things help the growth of plants the water present in the soil is absorbed by the roots of the plant without soil there would be no forest no crops and no food that is why soil is important natural resource so students today we will read only this much we had read about water air and soil rex how to read i will tell you in the next class. Thank you students.